everyone. This is episode 26, PDR Bonanza. PDR stands for Public Disclosure Request Center. I've mentioned this before. Here's the webpage for Public Disclosure Request Center. Get in there, sign up, make an account, and you can go request records that belong to you. Yeah, state emails belong to the taxpayer. There are no secrets. All state employees, their paychecks, their benefits, the machines they use, the emails they send don't belong to them. It's not their club's property. It belongs to you. You can ask for it. Anyone can submit a PDR. So this video is a real quick one to give you a high level view of how my PDRs are playing out. I submitted PDRs, multiple PDRs, and it takes a while um, to get those to come in, and they're coming in now hard and fast. And so I just wanted to give you a little heads up on why I'm submitting PDRs. There's a couple reasons. Um, so as you might have seen very early in this YouTube channel's history, we commandeered a WASHDOT webinar on August 16th, and I felt I needed to protect myself. I wanted WASHDOT to know that I was watching them and that their words would eventually come to light, that um, they would need to tread carefully about how they would relate to me because I was not, I was serious. I was not playing for noodles. Um, my freedom was on the line. I was willing to be fired and so I was going to play hardball. Another reason is I wanted to know what they were saying behind the scenes in denying me an accommodation for my religious exemption request. So I went through this long process fighting hard for a religious exemption. I got the exemption um, granted, but they wouldn't accommodate it. A lot of videos about that, you can go back and watch those, but I wanted to know what decisions were being made, what was being said in denying that to me. Another reason is I wanted to document the whole process to feed my lawyer. This is what lawyers need to be able to fight for you, and I have done a really good job in doing that put a lot of time towards it and uh, so as I said before the release of PDR information takes time I submitted my first PDRs back in September I am finally getting the batches coming in now in December uh, because I had asked for quite a few emails um, from all upper management from Inslee all the way down to my immediate supervisor on what they were saying about me I also included human resources at South Central Region and so obviously you know it didn't arrive in time to save my career but that wasn't the point the point was to invest in information that could be used later so the results are eye-opening and here's a couple high-level things that I've found out what have I learned so far well after we commandeered that August 16th webinar our uh, region administrator sent emails across the state to warn other washed out regions about what we had just done and that that could happen in their regions as well and this is probably why the remaining webinars statewide were canceled after ours um, just a side note there that was interesting uh, this is really interesting wash dot has been actively monitoring this youtube channel since at least september 13th i have emails from olympia letting our region know that this youtube channel is out there and to keep an eye on it and they assign somebody to check in regularly and to see what I am saying so hi WashDOT how you doing I hope you're learning something here uh, another reason I did it is that uh, another reason another thing that I found out was that management ran an investigation against me for quote miss you to state of state resources with emails so early in the game they wanted to silence me they wanted to find me using a machine and emails that belong to the state to speak out against the mandate which actually I'm not really sure why that would be a problem I mean this is a job related issue this is a change in the requirements of my job on the fly saying now you have to be vaccinated to stay employed every single bit of that has to do with my work environment and if I wanted to talk about it using a state computer I should have been able to do it but no they were clamping down on that and uh, speaking out against it and would persecute people that tried to do that. Um, this is something I just I, I, I want to say really touched me you know my immediate supervisor did go the extra mile and put his career on the line to fight for what was right to speak logic and reason he pleaded on my behalf 
he felt that there was a way to keep me on board and he explained it in detail to his upper management. Uh, but they chided him and human resources actually labeled him unprofessional for the quote unquote, let's just say, I'll say the trouble he was giving them. And so I just found that to be very touching and he was the only person at WashDOT who raised a single finger to help me out and to stand for what was right. So that, that, was, that was great. Um, so I have, I have emails to back this all up and there's a lot more of it coming on the way. So I'm, t I'm bringing this to light to encourage you that PDRs can be really useful. If you have legal representation or you'd like to get something going, go to your organization's um, public disclosure page and get that in the hopper and have those emails queried for you and you won't regret that you did it because they never expire, they never go bad and once you got them they can help you legally years down the road. So with that said, I'm going to jam. Thank you for checking in. Bye.